Welcome everyone to my channel Saskiano with UMD. Do you want to know how to refine the edges of a roto brush tool selection in After Effects? In this tutorial, I am working with the project file, Refine Edges. You will find this project file with the media associated with this tutorial. Just double click to open it in After Effects. The Refine Edge tool is a tool designed to work in conjunction with the Roto Brush tool. And if we look at our current project here, you can see I've got a waterfall. And if I toggle my switches and modes here, and turn off the effects, you can see this is the original waterfall. And when I turn my effects back on, you can see I've created an initial Roto Brush selection. To double check that, I'll go ahead and double click on layer 1 to open it here in the layer panel. Now at the bottom of the layer panel, you should see this purple line here, letting me know that the propagation is frozen. I did that, so, everybody had the same selection as I had originally created. So, since the initial rotor brush selection was created, and I want to modify it by using the refine edge tool. I'm gonna come over here and click the freeze button to unfreeze those frames. Now we'll go ahead and reanalyze what's going on in the scene. Now I'm only working on one second of the video. Because of the workflows the same whether you're doing one second or multiple seconds. So, let's start by going up to our roto brush tool here, and clicking and holding and choose the refine edge tool. Now if I look in the composition panel here, you'll see the edges need help. That is a very rough selection. So, I'll make sure I am in the layer panel here. And with my refine edge tool selected, if I need to change the brush size, I can hold down command on the Mac or control on Windows, and click and drag up or down. I want to use a brush around the size. And I will just click and drag around the edges of my selection. Like so. Then I'll go ahead and let go. And you'll notice it's going to take a second. But now I get a black and white representation of transparency where it's analyzed the edges and refined them. So. I like this I want to go ahead and search the rest of the frames in the span. So. I will press the space bar and let the analysis happen. Now it's gonna take a little while to analyze these frames because what it's doing is rather intensive. So, I will rejoin you here in a couple of seconds. Once all the frames in the span have been loaded, you should notice playback speeding up significantly to give you a good preview as to what's actually happened with the refined edges. Now, this looks pretty good in the layer panel. But let's go back to the composition panel. Now you can see the edges of the waterfall look a lot better. Let's press the space bar to watch the screens inside the composition panel. And as you can see it's doing a pretty darn good job. Yes, I have some black pixels around the edges, but we can fix that here in just a moment. Alright, I am gonna press the spacebar to stop playback, and with layer 1 selected, I will toggle my switches and modes, and I'll change the blend mode from normal to screen, and that's going to cut out a lot of the dark pixels. Now I will select that layer of press Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on the Mac to duplicate. And I will change the uppermost duplicate from screen back to normal. And I will press T to open the opacity. And I will drag that down to something like 23 or 25 percent. Now, this looks much more like a clean selection. So to resize this and position it, I will go to the parent link column, click on the pick whip, and point it to the lower layer, which is layer 2, 
And I will select layer 2 and press S to open the scale. And I will just click and drag to scale it down. And I want to get something that I think might work. And here I will make sure my scale is set to something like 50%. OK. I can go ahead and reposition the element in the scene. I just want to make sure to grab my selection tool first. And then I'll go ahead and just position us like so. There we go. And we can press the space bar. And you can see the Refine Edge tool has definitely taken the initial roto brush selection and added much more realism to it by analyzing the edge pixels and creating those fine details. That could really only be achieved with that tool. Here we go we are done for today. Don't forget to sub, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comment section. See you next time, goodbye.